Welcome back, everybody, to more Prince of Persia, Sands of Time. All right, we're in the room. There's no one here. Hmm. No one here. It's the hourglass. Now get on top of the hourglass. All right. <laughs> Easier said than done. Look out! Jesus. army sacked your palace, captured you as a slave. What? You have every reason to hate me. What are you talking about? Now you want me to trust you. Go on. There's no time. Give me the dagger. Faced my enemy. I had looked into his eyes, and I had lost everything. A tomb. You were there. The dagger was in your hand. Why did you hesitate? You think you're cleverer than everybody, but you're just like the rest of them. Those soldiers, all they can do is fight, destroy. Why did I trust you? Why didn't you trust me? <laughs> oh. Sorry. Where are you? I'm right here. Hold my hand. Let go. I didn't mean what I said. No, you're right. All that's happened is my doing. I wanted honor and glory. I brought this on us. You are brave and good. If this tomb is to be ours, at least the dagger will be buried with us. And we are together. What is it? Nothing. You're trembling. I just don't like close spaces. There must be some way out of here. When I was small, my mother taught me a secret word. She said that when I was afraid, all I had to do was speak that word, and a magic door would open. I've never told that to anybody. I can see why. It's the most childish thing I've ever heard of. What was the word? Kakolukia. Kakolukia. You did that, didn't you? Farah? Oh yeah, now we run the endless stairs. I really want to... You could really probably put this in like an endless loop. Maybe I should do that. Like the prince running down the stairs for 10 hours. Or an hour, I don't know. This is taking uh, quite a while. I don't know why they decided to do it like this, but there we go. Where are you? Oh. All right. Isn't it beautiful? Isn't what beautiful? Yes. Where are you? Where? 
the hell are you? All right. So I usually have quite a bit of trouble with this, but I decided to write it down. So. If only we could stay here. Where are? What are you doing? I'm looking for you. Yes. All right. Door four. Go to that one. Farah. Okay. Then we go to five, six, if only we could stay here. seven. Stay where? All right. Farah. Come out of door six. All right. Then we go into this one. Shall we take a bath? What the? Wait, wait. No. Was I wrong? Oh. I was wrong, apparently. No. Oh, sorry. Where are you? Might be. I'm here. Yes. Where the hell are you? Where, where are you? Where are you? Here I am. Here I am. I'm looking. All right, so we come out of yeah, we come out of door five. That's where, where we came are from. Where you? All right, so then we go. I'm right here. This one, come out of door six, and then take me in your arms. I don't see you. Yes, I don't see you. Do we go through this one then? Yes. All right. What? All right. This is getting ridiculous. Yeah, this is a little bit more than ridiculous. All right. Lara? Just take me in your arms. Again. Who are you talking to? <laughs> you, of course. Right, and then we go to door. Why do you act so distant? Then we come out of door one, uh, and then we go. Wait. Um, right, door one, uh, two, three, four, five. All right, we did it. Oh, oh. Was it real, that magical cavern? If it was a dream, then it was a dream we both shared. I know it was. Well, shit. Well, this ain't good. Now we got no sword. Well, hey there. Ah! Thought we were friends. Shit. Ah. Well, I'm outy. Ah, or not. Ah. Roll. Jesus. Woohoo! This is not a good. It's a good show. All right, let's do this puzzle real quick. I was used to have a little bit of trouble with it. All right, then we push, push a you. Uh, we push a you here, and uh, we remove a you. There we go. Easy peasy.
Bam. Now we can smack the door, and we have a new sword, buddy. This is the best sword in the game. It's very nice. Don't alert the whole palace, dude. Whoop, 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 whoop. Well, you may think that we may be screwed because we don't have the dagger. Well, you'd be wrong because this sword is just amazing. Man. It's, in fact, it's so amazing that. It, oh my god! God damn it. Ah, what the hell is going on? And the amount of just weird little glitches that are in this game. Alright. Oh, how I love this sword. It's a beast. Save our game, we shall. Hoo-hoo. Alright, so we have one more health upgrade. That is actually... Done. Decently hidden. I'll start the story from here next time. I might say because obviously your instinct is that you know the game's coming to a close. You don't have your dagger and all that. You know, just to go straight up this wall. But uh, nope, it's very neatly hidden down here. This is a health upgrade that I always missed when I play the game. And obviously there was no, there was no real way for you to know if you missed a health upgrade back in the old PS2 days, but. Once I played this on the PS3, I, uh, I sort of missed out because I didn't get all the health upgrade trophies. So I managed to find this one at a later date. Uh, excuse moi. Or maybe there was a way for you to remember if you missed out on a health upgrade. I don't actually fully remember. It's been a while since I've played the old uh, PS2 version. It's probably superior to this, even though it may look. A little worse, but probably plays a lot better. Well, I remember Warrior Within being a little bit glitchy. Whoa, don't do that. Let's. And uh. Wee! Alright. Now we can't make any mistakes because, well, we don't have our uh, trusted da -da 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 dagger to rewind the t -t -t time. We don't need your water. Uh, get on the pole. Thank you. It's very easy to fuck this up. Whoa. Whoa. And I fucked up. I was a little bit too quick off, off the draw there. Oh. It starts all the way down here. That's a little bit weird, but whatever. Let's try that again. I don't know why I tend to just do that whenever I get onto a pole. Just because, you know, we were in the prison and, you know, you didn't really have to think about when you were swinging on the poles. Gotta be... Oh, come on! I hate it when that happens, when he just changes direction for no reason. And jump. Thank you. And jump. Thank you. And jump. And don't swing. Gotta go to the end. Wahoo! Oh yay. Bats. Ah, screw these bats. Down we go. Oh, now they leave us alone. Thank fuck. She 
just standing there? She must be using the dagger. Sparrow, be careful! Don't you jump on the sand! Whoa, whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa. I forgot that bridge gave out. going through these things quick and I love it hell yeah man we didn't even get hit I'm amazing I'm amazing at this game I'm completely amazing <laughs> well it's not exactly that difficult Alright, so this is the second to last save spot, if I remember correctly. Done. I'll start the story from here next time. Alright, well, we don't need any water, so let's head straight up. I remember I did have an old Let's Play channel back in the day, which um, I don't... Well, I have the account still, but um, I've well gotten rid of most of those videos. I did play this game back then, and um, I died quite a bit at this stage that I ended up having to <laughs> cut ahead quite a bit. Let's try and not die in this second time I'm playing this. Screw you, bats. See you later, batsy boy. There we go. Bam. I do like climbing this area. It's kind of cool. Come on. Come on, bats. Come on, Batsy! Ah! You stupid bats. There we go. They're dealt with. They're really just putting bats at this stage to slow us down, really. There's not much else to it. Alright. Walk along. Walk along. Or shimmy along. Whoop, and whoop. Doing my best, trying not to die. Whoop. These bats, they really are a nuisance. Whoop. We're not making any mistakes. Das ist gut, das ist gut. Das ist super, das ist... Whoa, did not... Ah, I just jinxed myself badly there. No, no, no. You know, oh, we start all the way down here again. God damn it. Why does it... I don't know why that keeps happening. Why he decides to jump when I want him to jump up. Instead of he just jumps from the platform. I really don't know why that happens. Because I wasn't pushing anything. I wasn't pushing any direction. He just decided on his own free will to, to do that. But, oh, you press X. Oh, you want me to jump to my death? Fine, I'll do that. And yay, we gotta deal with bats again. Ah. Don't drop down, you idiot. Yay, they leave us alone. I 
this is definitely going to be the finale because there's not that much left of the game. Ah, don't fall down. Ah, I said don't fall down. Donut fall down. Alright, I'm going to do my best to try and not jinx myself, jinx myself this time. Go, go, go. Screw you bats. And they're gone. That's good. That's very rare that you can get rid of them in two hits. Or get it rid enough of them. There's always... I always notice that. There's always three. Once you're, they're down to three, they go away. For some reason. Alright, Prince. With no name. Although you do have a name in the movie. Which is what... Wasn't it Dastan or whatever? All right, jump up. Thank you. Be very, very careful. Oh, you can always kind of tell which one of these are going to fall down. Whoop, and a whoop, and a whoop. Just do it like this. Now this is rather dangerous, what we're about to do. But it works. I'm quite surprised this guy has the energy to do this shit. You know, a bit of sleep isn't really going to do all that much, is it? Oop. Well, maybe it's all the health upgrades that are helping. Alright, bat friends. Let's get rid of them before we go any further. Unless if they attack us or, or hurt us, we'll fall down. Yeah, we'll fall down and most likely die. Come on. Ah. Seriously? Just die, you fucks. God damn it! Oh, they go away. And they come back. Seriously? Come on. There we go. These bats, man, they really are a nuisance. They're not exactly challenging enemies, they're just. As I say, they're just there to slow you down for no reason. This game would have been fine without them. Whoa. Hua! Ah! Banana. Now, need some crazy ninja warrior. All right, man. I'd love to see how fast that was. That was probably something like thirty to forty seconds. It's amazing that fights took like I don't know five to ten minutes, depending on well, maybe not ten minutes, maybe three to six minutes, maybe at most. Uh, they take, well, no more than a minute. Alright, this is the final save spot. Or is it? No, it's the second to last one. The last one was not the second to last one. There's one more after this. And we got more climbing to do. Shocking. But we're nearly there, folks. We're nearly there. Done. 
I'll start the story from here next time. Alright, yeah, we don't go this way. We go up here. Ooh, how dangerous. These animals are dangaroos. Whoa. No. Climb, you silly bitch. Climb like a man. Oh, thankfully he didn't jump off right there. Well, he didn't. Well, he when we should have grabbed onto the ledge, like earlier. Don't get, ah, uh, don't get stuck on the wall, my friend. Ooh. This seems very dangerous. Well, I mean, most of the stuff he does is quite dangerous. Can we just... No. No. I thought you could run across, but nope. I think these bats leave us alone. Yeah. Thankfully, we don't have to deal with them. It's quite nice. I think this is the last bit. The last bit of platforming we have to do in the game. Oh. Alright, so, um, the sound was way behind the actual cutscene there. I might fix that in post if I can. I hope I can. I hope it's not like, ah, glitched out too much. God damn it. Yeah, I showed no reaction to that because, well, of course, I knew Farrah would die. Wasn't it obvious that it would happen? <laughs> he just attacked his buddy. What an idiot. One. 
No, maybe not. No, definitely not. Jesus. There's so many of them. Bam. Well, that's that. That was a vision of nothing, pretty much. Done. I'll start the story from here next time. Bravely I had fought and slain my enemies. Honor and glory were mine. But though I fight until the desert sands themselves were red with blood, I could not bring back the dead. I loved dead and I to blame. I choose death. Do not be afraid. This belongs to you. The dagger of time. But it is locked away within my father's treasure vault. How Most people think time is like a river that flows swift and sure in one direction. But I have seen the face of time, and I can tell you, they are wrong. Time is an ocean in a storm. You may wonder who I am and why I say this. Sit down. And I will tell you the tale like none that you have ever heard. No further. I am your son, and that is why I have come. To warn you and your father to arrest this treacherous vizier before he betrays you and brings ruin on us all. His signal is a flaming arrow shot into the air. Prevent him, and my father's army will know the traitor has been unmasked. They will turn back. A wild scene. I have a simpler version. A Persian soldier lusting for glory entered the chambers of the Maharaja's daughter and was slain by me. Your Highness, for your own safety, I suggest you flee. Oh, damn. I will handle this intruder. Well, it's final boss time. What sorcery is this? Stop this at once! Oh, my lady, he came here to abduct you. Surely you do not believe him. 
He will betray you. All will happen as I have foretold. How inventive. Do not forget, he is a Persian soldier. What I told you is no story. It happened. I mean... Your exertions are most amusing. Oh yeah, another one. Let him be brought before my father. He will judge. Dizia, I have commanded you to stop. Do you disobey? I've taken orders long enough for a senile fool and a sniveling brat. Your father was a great warrior in his youth. Or so he would have the world believe. A pity his son does not take after him. And then again, perhaps father and son are alike. It would appear that both showed a taste for easy plunder. You waste your breath. What little you possess. Did you really think you could defeat me? <coughs> Careful. Don't tire yourself. I will handle this intruder. Yeah, I'm not really talking mainly to the fact because there's so much dialogue during this fight, but it seems to be at an end. This isn't actually a very difficult boss fight. It's sort of anticlimactic given how good the rest of the game is. The final fight with all those monsters uh, just a minute ago was a lot more tougher. Guess he just coughs and coughs. And so it ends. How will the Maharaja feel when he finds his only daughter slain by the son of his enemy? <laughs> Do you have any last words you wish me to communicate to the princess? Of love. <laughs> I love that. I could have been. Then it's true. He was a traitor. Take this. Turn it to your father's treasure vault. Guard it well. I owe you thanks. But why did you invent such a fantastic story? Do you think me a child that I would believe such nonsense? I said I owe you thanks. You presume too much. Do you think me a child, that I would believe such nonsense? You're right. It was just a story. Wait. I don't even know your name. Just call me... Kakulukia. Oh. 
Ho ho, smooth. Smooth, my friend. Do we get credits now, or...? There we go. There we go. This is actually a really good song. Claude Lemont Langlais, David V. Debré, Chateauneuf, Raphael Lacoste, Alex Drum, Simon Tremblay, Pierre Sébastien Bouillon, Jonathan Bilon, Jordan Mechner, Jordan Mechner. Jordan Mechner, or Jordan Mechner. <laughs> Jordan Mechner, I think, isn't he, um, he's the, uh, the original creator, I think, of, uh, Prince of Persia. At least, I think so. Let's, why don't we Google it while we're listening to these kick-ass tunes. I don't think, I think there's anything other, you know, other things going on here. Jordan Mechner, let's see. Uh, yes, he's known for designing Prince of Persia, or being the creator. Uh, 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 Jordan Magner. Yes, Prince of Persia in the 1980s. Or 1980. Wow, the original Prince of Persia came out in 89. That's a long time. That's 30 years ago. Right. Yeah. <laughs> But it came out September. No, it came out in North America in '89. It didn't come out in, until 1990 um, in Europe and Japan. Well, anyway, this game is done and dusted. Um, I enjoy it. I always enjoy playing this game. I always play it from time to time, and it's just a good time. Even though the PSP port is kind of uh, bad, you know, I'm not like gonna go all out on it, but it's not exactly great. I will probably eventually play the next two games, probably not right away, like with most games I've been playing. Um, like Jack and Daxter, for instance, I finished that and didn't really go straight into the next one. And also with, you know, Spider-Man, I finished that and didn't go on to the next one. Well, mainly due to the fact because I don't own it and I can't find a copy of it anywhere. I've never actually been able to find a copy of it anywhere. I haven't seen a copy of it, like, in physical form, probably since it was in the store when I was a kid, but I never bought it for some reason. You, Daniel Luca, Andre, Roberta Voulon, Adolfo Gomez Urda, why am I saying everything? Keith Sanders. <laughs> Noise, Orange Studio, localization testing. Only knows Jean Marc, Geoffroy, Tommy Francois, Xavier, Javier, Javier, Gilbert, Alexis Nolon, Zilly Giron, Nawanon, Julien Amour, Hummer. Is he driving a Hummer? <laughs> this is high class commentary and high class. Um, you know, there's not much else for me to add, I suppose. I think uh, I'll just leave it at that. I guess I'll just leave the credits ongoing because, you know, why not? But, um, 
yeah, that's just gonna be it for me. There's not much else I can add. I'll see you guys in the next series, um, or in the, just the next video, whatever that may be. So yeah, see you guys later. Bye-bye.